February 4th, 2022, my first daughter was born. So, for her first Christmas, I wanted to make something. I decided on making her a wooden rocking horse. I looked around online and found some plans uh, provided by Lowe's. So I went to Home Depot and got some supplies. And when I got back, I unloaded everything and went straight to work on making a template. For the template, I just used some quarter inch melamine I had laying around from a previous project. These plants from Lowe's made everything pretty simple. Just had to print them out, tape them together, and cut it out after that. One thing I do wish I would have thought about was the actual size it was going to be. She is way too small for this thing but uh, she'll grow into it. Once I had the template traced out, I cut it out with a jigsaw. This was just a rough cut. Uh, I knew I was gonna get as close as I could, but it wasn't gonna be perfect. I figured I would get the fine details done with a sander. With the template now cut out and sanded down to just how I wanted it, Time to take it over to the three quarter inch plywood that I was gonna use. Um, funny thing here is I knew that it would fit on this sheet. Problem was I couldn't figure out the geometry in my head. Uh, eventually you'll see, I did get it. So I repeated the same process here, just traced out the template outline now, and once again back to the jigsaw to cut it out. Then it was over to the miter saw to cut out a couple of the rails that everything would get sat on and screwed into. After that, it was time to break out the table saw, get everything set up and cut out a few of the other pieces. Um, use that for the seat and body supports, a few miscellaneous pieces. Then after all the last pieces were cut out, it was time to mark out some locations on the support pieces that I was going to pre-drill some holes into. Uh, there was likely and definitely a better way I could have done this, but it worked. All right, now that I had everything rough cut, what I decided to do was go back to the templates and use a flush trim bit with the router to get everything down to its final dimensions. What I used here was a double-sided carpet tape. Um, it worked well, a little too well. Turned out it was extremely difficult to get off. Um, you'll see me struggle with that. One thing you may have noticed is my complete disregard for dust removal. Uh, 
I was just working and did not want to figure out some way to tape up a hose or hold a hose with my second hand or whatever it may be. I just threw a mask on and figured I'd wash it off later. And this was the moment I found out that double-sided tape worked way too well. A lot of holding power, but too much. So next time I did it, I went with this blue masking tape down first. So I learned quite a few different things doing this project, which it seems like every time I do something new, I learn something. This time, I forgot to reset the, the router bit height uh, when I went to trim out this quarter inch plywood. So I lost uh, my template and ended up having to <clears throat> make the second one out of the first one. Um, and then that second one ended up cracking right at the thin spot. So at that point, I knew I was running low on time, running low on material, and I figured I would just glue it. It turned out just fine with the glue. You can't notice a thing. And the last thing I did with the router was hit all the edges with a, I think it was a 5 8 inch round over bit just enough to take off the sharp edges. Last thing before sanding, I put the original template back on there and marked out the hole locations. Finally, it was time for everyone's favorite task, sanding. I actually did use some dust collection here. Um, I think you'll notice I was wearing some gloves. I think at that point it was like three degrees outside and my shop's not insulated, so it was getting rough. Because it was so cold outside, I brought everything inside downstairs to the basement where I could do the final assembly and paint everything. I also was getting down to crunch time, so I did not get video of painting. This assembly process was probably my favorite part, just finally seeing everything come together and actually look like a thing you were aiming at. It's a good feeling. I finished this thing off with two coats of paint. I just used the same wall paint we used in our room so everything would match. And judging by the huge smile on her face when she saw it, I'd say she liked it. <laughs>